I know a lot of friends of mine, if they see someone wearing XYZ, they want to get the same thing. I follow people and then I'm like, oh my god, I want that and I want that. And I spend way more. I need to get rid of Instagram because that is the worst. If I love a brand and I see an influencer who I know, I will buy from it. But if, it's, if I see like a random influencer with a random brand, I won't. I'm a bit old for social media yeah. influencers. <laughs> However, I did buy this mascara today because of a social media influencer, so there you go. So I'm not I'm not immune to this to the influencers. I try to avoid the kind of more mainstream like X Love Island people personally like pretty little thing boohoo it's like brands that I would hundred percent avoid. The one that's come to mind only because we were talking about it this morning um, in uni was the whole um, pretty little thing kind of move to hire Molly May. Those clothes when they've been reviewed are completely different to how they looked online and on her. I'm gonna be wise about my decisions and not go out and spend all this crazy money because I've seen it online but there's a part of me that's like oh hmm, like I could try that out but then I think like the sensible part of my brain like overpowers that and like no that's a ridiculous purchase you don't need that let's say you look at a platform like instagram for example obviously you've got instagram shopping channels so you can literally directly shop uh, from a feed you can literally be like oh let me tap on the photo there's the description click on it and it goes straight to the uh, consumer purchase page right that really is a good way to get people to buy online and also seeing the way that people wear things for example let's say it's clothes you might see someone you like wearing something nice and you're like, oh, this looks really cool, I want it. Social media is basically a trend. Like, social media has always had an impact on the world we live in today, especially because everything is so well connected. So you're able to see the latest shoes, the latest jackets, the latest this and the latest that. But the crazy thing about it is you're able to see your favorite people in those things as well. I definitely feel distrustful of influences, so, you know, I think they do get better versions of clothes, especially if it's um, these brands like Pretty Little Thing and like Boohoo and all of that kind of stuff. Maybe have they even tried the products before they're selling them? Are they just doing this for a paycheck, not because they actually enjoy the products? So I am very wary for sure.